Hey guys, it's Ads here, and uh, today I'm back in Payday 2, with this time no hacks. Um, as you may have seen in my last video, I did a little tutorial on how to use hacks on this game. Personally, I think it's a little too cheaty. Um, so, I've got something a little bit, um, a little bit less heavy, uh, and gone with something that's not actually hacks, it's actually legit. But um, it just makes your game uh, slightly easier because you know um, a lot more of what's going on around you rather than like in the blind of how long you've got left on drills, how long it'll take you to complete an action, etc, etc. Because you, you normally have that ring, don't you? Like You get a ring in the middle of the screen whenever you interact with something. And you also get a, a ring that, go, that glows blue and red when you like get uh, noticed and detected and stuff. Um, but in this, that kind of changes, in a way. And this is basically, in this video, I'll be showing you how to um, like work it, and how to use Hoxhud, and how to download it as well. But yeah, it's just a neat little tool for anyone who needs, you know, a, a wider perspective of things. So as you see here, if I press G to put my mask, instead of that ring that I was telling you about a second ago, you get these numbers instead. So these numbers basically replace the ring, and uh, as you see they'll start counting down, in this case it counts down from 2 seconds because it takes 2 seconds to put on your mask. And um, once it gets to 0 you complete the action, as you see there, I complete the action and put my mask on. Uh, shut that up quickly. Um, but, but yeah, that's, that's pretty cool, so instead of the ring you get that, and I'll show you that quickly with pit locking doors as well. Hold on. Alright, here, if I were to pick this one, as you see it starts counting down, but because it's an easy door to pick, it won't, you know, won't stay on it for too long. Open this one. As you see here, it'll do ECMs, drill, shape charges, it'll do it as well. Uh, anything but the instant stuff like keycards. Uh, so right here, I've got the skill that allows me to pick lock um, really quickly, so it only counts down from 10 here. As you see there, it starts from 10, and as soon as it gets to 0, I complete the picking of the door, and it basically gives you a better idea of when to pull away from the door if you're stealthing or something. It's like, like that, look. And again, here, I'll just, sh yeah, just walk out. Um, but yeah, that's a cool little thing, the numbers in the middle of the screen. Um, right, well, so we have, oh yeah, the little, like, you get like little rings at the top of your um, HUD at the left hand corner and that basically tells you how long of an action you have left basically uh, so if I were to use the drill on this uh, you won't see it immediately but if you're in multiplayer um, you see when you press tab you have these two great grayed out areas at the bottom you have the level and the XP um, and on the left you have this this uh, blacked out box but in multiplayer, you also have one on the right-hand side as well. And on that, it basically gives you information about your payday, how much spending cash and offshore you get after your job's complete. And that'll also have a little ring that counts down, um, like, with numbers and, uh, like, border. And, and I'll show you what I mean in just a second when I use the ECM. And it basically tells you how long you've got left on uh, a drill, ECM, anything that you put down that has, like, a time timer on it. Something like that. So here, if I put an ECM down here, as you see there, from my top left, it starts counting down from 30. The border of the circle, of the ring, starts um, depleting as it moves back round in an anti-clockwise motion. And, uh, yep, yeah, so that basically shows you how long of the um, ECM you have left. Really helps with stealth, because if you uh, muck up in stealth and you start like ECM rushing it and you know um, stacking ECMs and stuff uh, it's a lot more helpful to know how long of the ECM you've actually got before you can put another one down so it basically prevents wasting ECMs and as you see there this drill here stopped and when it does stop if it's if it's above 60 seconds well and below 60 seconds it'll start um, like pulsating from white to red like it does like it is now in my top left and it shows how long it's got left, um, but that basically means that uh, it needs repairing or restarting. 
So here, as I restart it, mm -hmm. as I restart it, the ring will disappear because it's above 60 seconds and it starts counting down again because it's restarted. But yeah, once that gets to below, um, below 60 seconds, then um, it starts showing up on my top left. And uh, yeah, so that'd be basically pretty good. Um, so yeah, that's a good thing. Um, the number in the middle of the circle, let's see, in the very middle, where it shows your sta uh well, where it normally shows your shields and health, um, that's how many times you can actually go into bleed out, well, yeah, go into bleed out, going down, if you get shot. So, as you see, I can go in it four times, but for most people it'll probably be three, unless you have the ghost skill not, uh, um, that allows you to kind of go into bleed out one more time. Gives you an extra life, basically. Yeah, so I've aced that, so I'm allowed to do that. And uh, just outside of the number, in the inside of the ring, you see a little uh, white circle. And if I start to sprint, that white circle will start going down. If you look at the number there, drill stopped again, as you see, in my top left. And uh, the number starts counting, well not the number, the uh, ring starts counting down. And that basically shows how much stamina you got left, so when I get to the, when that ring kind of depletes, I'll show you here in a second, if you keep watching it. When you get to here, you see I've run out of stamina and I start, um, you know, huffing and puffing because I ran out of like speed and stamina. And uh, as you see, as I start to walk again, the circle slowly refills to show you how much stamina you got left. Right, so let's just restart this. We've got 153 seconds on the drill. And yeah, that basically how that works. Um, which is pretty sick. Drills again. Um, so, yep, that's sick. And uh, also on Hoxhead, another little feature that I think you should know about is uh, if you, say, if you muck up a uh, job, like you've mucked up a stealth or you generally, you know you're going to lose at a job, you can, with Hoxhead, just press escape and here you've got a new kind of... Um, uh, option here, you got restart game, and uh, I believe without Hoxhud this will not be here. And it's a bit more complicated to restart a game, but with Hoxhud it just allows you just to click on it, as you see here, if you click yes, it'll take you back to the uh, the pre planning area where you got your assets and your loadout, etc. And um, you can just press ready and you'll start the job completely again from the beginning. Which is awesome. Yes. But yeah, it's pretty sick. And uh, yeah, so uh, that's uh, pretty much it. Well, that's all the good things you really want to know before you get it. I'm trying to convince you, you see. Uh, I won't spoil all of it for you. There may be a bit more that um, you guys can check out your own. But yeah, so if I come out of the game now, I will show you how to download it. I'll see you on at my desktop. See you in a sec. Okay guys, so I'm on my desktop, as I said I would be. And uh, as you see here, I'm on the HopTud official Steam group. And basically, to start your download, you need to uh, subscribe to the group, or join, well, join the group, really. And uh, you do that by clicking the yellow bar, that is now a blue bar for me, there, that says join Steam group. I'm sure you guys know how that works. Just click it, and then you'll join it. Then after that, you go to Discussions, here, on this tab. Then you go down on this right side to Hoxhud Downloads under the Subforums page. Then there's only one uh, thread, you just click on that. And then down here, you see these two, uh, two shared installers. Down here, you've got the self-installer and manual one. Uh, you want to click the self one, it's easy as hell. You just click it, it'll redirect you to this two shared page. And uh, it's not the big download button, that's kind of a uh, scammy thing. Uh, that's, you know, you may have heard of iLivid, it's a bit of a pain in the ass. And it, But it's this one below here, this little one here. And then basically when you click that, you just do like run, whatever your browser requirements are. 
and then um, it should bring up a page that will show you the progress and once it's finished it'll extract all the files and put them into your payday2 folder for you and you can obviously go and check that by going into your computer the local disk program files or program files 86 wherever you've saved your steam mine's in 86 then of course steam then steam apps common and obviously you're going to want to go into your payday2 and you should see this little uh, hot sod folder here right here so it's pretty bold you should be able to see that and that basically says that you've got the basic things needed to install it then uh, you just close that down open your payday and you can test if it does definitely work um, by going to the safe house or something and it should say hot sod p2 p1 uh, initialized and that means you have got it and you should be able to see all the features that were showcased a little bit earlier uh, but yep yeah, that's really it then for that one uh, I'll also include a link to this specific thread to the download thread uh, for the lazy of you guys out there who don't want to do what I just showed you a minute ago um, you can just go back into the video click that because I'm nice like that um, so yeah, hope this has all gone well. If you've got any queries, then don't be afraid to put them down in the comments. I do answer all of my comments. Well, hopefully. Um, but yeah, hope you enjoyed the video, guys. See you in the next one. Peace.